Okay, so, so please make sure that you are able to go into Spectrum, right? So this is the Spectrum screen. This is how it looks like on my site, okay? Um, we, can, we can hide some things from you. So um, that's to control the information uh, shared because there, there are some old things inside. So, so we don't want to confuse you. So, okay. So anyway, um, important things, uh, the cost information, all right? So there's the cost information for the current semester, which you should um, just take a look. So we'll click on that, right? So you can uh, basically read through this uh, thing. Okay, so I'll leave you to that. Um, the important thing to note for this semester is that your oral presentation is on week 14, okay? Um, and not week 13. Okay, so we, we moved it like one week uh, later so that you have a bit more time, right, to, to do your work. And uh, for week 15, you are basically just uh, submitting your report on week 15, yeah? Okay. So, so the difference is between uh, this SAM and last SAM is that last SAM uh, uh, presentation on week 13 and submission on week 14. And this semester uh, is moved uh, one week later, okay? So later we will look at the dates, right? Okay, so then this is the cost pro forma. Um, you, can, you can read through this uh, formal document, right? So the cost assessment is 100%. Um, uh, there's no exam, right? So it's based on your presentation and based on your report. And uh, this is the important page here. So make sure everybody knows this, right? This is the ISM Mathematical Science um, project cost information page. So I'm sure uh, you have come across this, yeah? because this is where you get your forms, yeah? The form A, all right, I just checked, uh, I just saw only three students have submitted form A, okay? You have to submit uh, today, yeah? Okay? Uh, if you don't have form A, you cannot register for the cost. Right. Uh, so, who else has not submitted Form A? Can you just uh, let me know what's the reason? Uh, my uh, super. Uh, sorry, you first. Uh, okay. Um, my I submitted the Form A to my supervisor and the joint examiner, and they should return it to me today so I can submit it. Okay. Uh, sorry, can you introduce yourself? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, my name is Tam Zikai. Okay, who, is, who are your supervisors and the examiner? Uh, my supervisor is Dr. Tan Da Sheng, and my joint examiner is Dr. Wong Kok Bin. Should be, yeah. Okay. All right, so you, you have to submit, uh, just upload later, yeah? Okay, once you get. Uh, how about the yeah. others? Okay. Uh, I'm Sam with just now the checkup. I submit to my supervisor, but haven't got to me. Uh, yeah, can you introduce yourself? Uh, uh, fi uh, uh, I'm Fiona Linda. My supervisor is Dr. Ilaya Raja Aruchunan. Okay. And my joint examiner is Professor Madia Dr. Zailan Bin Zili, Z Siri. Okay. So just uh, drop a reminder to your supervisor, okay? Dr. Elijah, just, just uh, send him an email reminder. All right, just, just let him know that you need to uh, submit this today, yeah? Okay. Uh, who else? Who else doesn't have? I only saw three submissions. Uh, 
Uh, okay, let me just go to that. Form A. Field submissions. Only Muhammad Al Azim submitted. Muhammad Zuhilmi submitted. Putri Wadia submitted. So Jarif Zu. Okay, Zuhilmi already. Uh, Jarif and uh, Tarashini. Uh, we are same with Fiona, Doctor. Our uh, supervisor is also Dr. Ilaya. Dr. Ilaya, okay. Yeah. Uh, Jarif? Yeah, me too. Same supervisor. Oh, okay. So, same lah. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. So, okay, that's uh, settled. Okay, then you have, um, okay, let me just go back to that page. Uh, okay. So, all right. Um, so uh, you have form A and then form B, right? This is form B, okay. Form B is basically a record of your, uh, let's click on it. So basically just your record it's basically just recording your discussions with your supervisor, right? So, so you should record that on your own, yeah? Um, this could be some kind of uh, e-meeting, okay? Uh, when you have an e-meeting with a supervisor, you, 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 you put down the date and uh, you basically give a brief description of what basically you did on that talk about in that discussion right just just briefly and then uh towards the end you compile then you give your supervisor to sign like uh on uh one go right so you you have to manage this uh this uh, uh form right and um try to have at least one uh discussion a month okay you can have more than that but uh, uh but uh, try to do it once a month, yeah? Um, and you do not, uh, if your supervisor doesn't get to you, please bug your supervisor, okay? You send, when you have progress, you, you should send something to your supervisor. Okay, don't, don't keep quiet, yeah? Okay, your supervisor sometimes may be very busy. So if you keep quiet, then your supervisor is busy, then ding dong, ding dong, two months have passed, and uh, then you panic. Okay, so um, you have to time a bit about your project, right? So, so when you have do something, you just uh, send some email and tell a supervisor, okay, uh, this week I've done this thing, done that thing. I've tried this, I've tried that. Um, I, I have some problems. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how to troubleshoot it. Maybe we can discuss or something like that, okay? All right, okay, so... Um, then, okay, so, so this is the thing, yeah? Students are required to meet and discuss uh, with the supervisor, right? At a frequency determined by the supervisor, okay? Of course, your supervisor may actually want you to submit, like uh, provide a report every, every one month. Different supervisors work in different ways. So some maybe they, they may be more micromanaging you. Some may be more, um, they give you more, more independence, okay? So, so please uh, check with your supervisor, right? But um, at least once a month, okay? And this is the important date. Uh, so the seminar on uh, 18th of June, okay? 18th of June, uh, 15 minutes, okay? So basically the format is uh, 15 plus five. Lah, huh? You talk about it for 15 minutes and then uh, there's a five minute Q&A. And then you need to do a poster, yeah? Uh, the poster, A3 size. Uh, soft copy, submitted through Spectrum, right? Also the type one, okay? The type one together with the uh, poster. So uh, we are still uh, just accepting uh, 
electronic uh, submissions, right? We 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 are not accept we we are not accepting um, hard copies at the moment still because of the COVID uh, thing. Okay, and um, okay, so all right, you don't actually have to submit form D, all right? Um, because you do electronic submission, so submit through Spectrum, so there's already a record of it. So form D uh, was initially for the manual submission, right? If you look at, um, maybe I should take this away. Um, okay, so we are not doing form D at the moment. Um, and okay, so this is about this thing, all right. Um, now, if if your report contains a lot of errors, um, and so your supervisors may actually ask you to make all the corrections and resubmit. All right, so please make sure that um, you don't get into this situation, yeah, because um, you you. If, if, if your report is littered with errors, incoherent sentences and all that, it will be returned to you and you will be given a very short time frame to resubmit. So that, that will be very stressful, yeah? Um, so make sure you don't, um, you, you, you give something that is uh, understandable and uh, minimize the, the any errors, okay? Typos formatting errors and so on right and this one please take note yeah so this is the new rule here okay uh, you we are very strict with the submission of uh, uh, report starting from this semester all right if you are late then uh, the following penalties will apply late means uh, we will check the spectrum system right they will lock the spectrum will lock your um, submission time, right? So we don't want to see uh, the word late there, okay? Um, so don't submit like last minute or like one minute before the system is, is due, right? Okay? Because you might get into connection connectivity problems, okay? So just to tell you that what will happen if you do not submit on time. So if you are late for up to three days, yeah, you will be deducted one grade from the final grade. Okay, so for example, if you receive your final grade is a B, you will then receive a B minus, right, as a penalty for late submission. If you are late for up to seven days, that means uh, between, so, so if you are late for four days, five days, six days, seven days, right, you will be deducted two grades. Okay, which means if you get a B, then if you're, you are marked as a having, getting a B, that will be deducted two grades. That means you will actually receive a C plus. Okay, so that's two grades deducted. More than seven days, fail. Okay, doesn't matter how brilliant you, whatever brilliant discovery or what, doesn't matter. You submit late and more than seven days, straight away fail, right? We are not going to look at it. Um, so please take note of that, yeah? Some students previously uh, tried to sort of play the fool, eh? So this excuse, that excuse, all right? So, so um, we are going to just grade it as F, yeah? Okay, don't, don't get into this situation, all right? Okay, so... Okay, and also take note of this. In addition, the best grade awarded will not exceed B, which means if, okay, so, so for those who try to buy more time, yeah, uh, buy more time to, to um, to, to do to maybe hoping to get a better grade, right? So you will not receive anything better than a B, yeah, if you are late. Which means even if your supervisor um, gives you something like a A minus, right? So if you did, so so you won't get anything more than a uh, B, right? You deducted one grade. 
okay? So that means, uh, so like for example, if, if let's say you're given an A, right? You're late for seven days, you are A. I deduct two grades, all right? So deducted two grades, that means uh, A, A minus B plus, right? But you're not getting a B plus, okay? You will just receive a B, okay? So, so is whichever one is uh, uh, better, uh, right? If you got B, so so you got B plus, you deduct two grades, you will get a uh, C plus, okay? Right. So it's just saying that um, if you are late, you can never. The best you can do is a B, okay? And you're probably going to get something worse than B, right? So this is a warning to students not to take. Uh, not uh, not to be careless with this submission time, right? Because um, we found out that some students are taking advantage of this uh, COVID situation and, uh, and coming out with all kinds of things. Okay. Okay. Uh, so those are the forms uh, A, B. So so you can ignore form D uh, for this uh, semester. Okay. Okay, so, so then um, here I have given you some uh, resources for mathematical writing. And here's also a template for research writing, uh, report writing, right? So, so you can use this template, okay? Um, this is just the standard template. Uh, it's a Word document with macros inside. So, so um, you can use this. Or if you want to use uh, LaTeX, it's also fine, right? There's actually a LaTeX. You can just Google for the text uh, thesis uh, formatting uh, in Google. You, you can find it, uh, you can find the text template for UM. Okay, it's just that uh, most students don't use that, so um, uh, I just put the word, word uh, format. But if you want to use a LaTeX format, uh, just go ahead, okay? Um, and then resources for mathematical writing. Uh, here are some resources, right? So I hope you will actually read them. Um, so this will give you some ideas how to do uh, mathematical writing. Okay, how to write good abstracts, how to write good introduction. Uh, there are simple rules for, yeah, because you might not be sure, right? How to, write things your first time, right? So I prepared uh, quite a lot of things here. So these are all very good uh, writing, right? Good advice. So please uh, go through this, right? This will actually help your report writing. Okay. Um, maybe we click on one of them. Let's say Paul Helmers, how to write mathematics. Uh, you can click on this and see if it works. Okay, how to write mathematics, right. Okay, so then you can uh, kind of like look at this, okay. Right, uh, maybe let's say 10 simple rules for mathematical writing. Uh, okay, there's some slides here. Um, okay, so let's... This is basically some people's uh, slides, right? Uh, so, okay, like, like, yeah, for example, it gives you some what's bad and what's good, right? So for example, yeah, a lot of students will write something like this, let k larger than zero be an integer, right? That's bad. Okay, so they give you an example of what is good. Okay, so you can go through this on your own. Okay. All right, so I, I think uh, that's all I want, I want to talk about uh, as coordinator for this uh, course, all right? So do you have any questions for me? Uh, doctor. Right, so uh, my name is Tam Zikai. So about the template, right? The template for research, not for the report. Uh, 
so we have to follow it 100% according to it or because uh, I've, I've asked about Malcolm about this and last time he said for him it's optional so for us do we have to follow it 100% or do is it still optional okay it's actually a guide uh, I strongly suggest that you follow it okay because otherwise, um, you, you, you should use it as a base, yeah? Otherwise, how, what do you want to do with this, this part here? Uh, I mean, the front part, I can still follow, but the other part, uh, it's, I, I'm typing with LaTeX, so it's a bit difficult to yeah, follow Yeah, I know, it. I know. I, I just talked about it, right? The LaTeX. Uh -huh. The LaTeX has its own, UM has its own, uh, actually, it's not official by UM. You, I don't think UM has an official LaTeX template uh, uh, but somebody uh, created one and yeah, put it I, I, I should look at that um, maybe I can ask my supervisor about it but I have looked at the template the text template for a while and so far it couldn't compile my computer for some reason so I ended up trying to replicate it on my own so uh, that is actually a guide lah, okay so uh, it's not a uh, hundred percent right as long as it uh, basically gives something that is uh, uh, kind of has a formal structure, okay? So uh -huh. you, you can, if you want to use the LaTeX template, you can uh, seek some advice from your supervisor because some supervisors, uh, they, they want the students to use LaTeX. Okay. Okay, so we are not very, um, uh, what do you call that, dogmatic about that, right? It's just a guide because uh, we have to start somewhere, right? Um, so, so for most students, they will be using the word, right? So, okay. yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any, anyone else has questions? Can you still see the uh, spectrum page? Can you? Yes, Dr. Okay. Uh, any questions from Fiona? No, Doctor. Uh, Tashini? No, Doctor. Zarif? No, oh, Doctor. Uh, Zul, Zul hear me? No, right there. Okay. So, all right. So if there are no more questions, uh, then uh, we will end the briefing now. Okay. So um, before that, uh, let me just go back to, okay, let me stop the sharing. Okay. So maybe just let me take, Take the attendance a bit. Okay, right. Okay, so that's all for this briefing. Uh, if you have any queries, you can just uh, ask in the uh, chat group, right? Or send me an email. Okay, everyone, uh, so that's all. So I'm going to stop the recording now and uh, end the session. Okay, goodbye.